Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Nice looking day today, a little breezy with a mix of sun and clouds, but high temperatures today climbing into the lower 80s. 82 degrees, the official high so far here in Waco. It's also 82 in Temple, 83 in Colleen, and temperatures just as pleasant up toward Mejia. Current temperature right at 84 degrees. We've got a stationary boundary kind of migrating slowly to the north. It's going to turn into a warm front here, and that will definitely uh, let that warm air surge our way along with that moisture. But right now on the radar, the only thing that's being picked up well to our northwest up in the panhandle there, seeing some scattered showers and some isolated storms. Our future cast trying to throw a little uh, cell on there very uh, early this evening off to our southwest over towards San Saba. And I'll tell you what, for the most part, I haven't seen anything on radar at this moment, so we'll keep an eye on it. But there's that warm front. By midnight, skies again will be increasing with those clouds and temperatures holding steady in the upper 60s to start the day. So we will start tomorrow. It'll be dry with clouds. It'll be kind of humid out there with those dew points climbing up into the 60s. As we start to go toward the uh, lunchtime period, there's a dry line that's going to get close to us. And this will kick off showers and thunderstorms. Notice the time up here. This is at lunch. So I'd say anytime from about 11 to 1, we're going to see that line of showers and thunderstorms roll through. Some of these thunderstorms could be dropping some rather large hail. So hail is going to be one of the major threats with this as it moves through. Some heavier rainfall, also some very strong winds. That will continue to move off to the east. And then we still have the cold front to deal with here by later on in the afternoon. So kind of a two-part weather system. One there, late morning, around lunchtime. That moves away. Then dry conditions, uh, just mainly cloudy. Then we've got the cold front moving in here. And I'll stop the clock around 9 o'clock. But right now it appears that most of the showers and storms with the front maybe just off to our east, over toward the Palestine area in East Texas. So that's where it could be a rather rough evening, especially with that front moving through. And then behind the front, some drier air begins to move in. That means a lot of sunshine and temperatures really not too cool on Thursday. Climbing to the upper 70s by noontime and by the afternoon, we should be in the low to mid 80s here across the region. But tomorrow, any thunderstorm that does develop has a possibility of being severe. You can see we're in the orange here. That's an enhanced risk of severe weather. And I think our main threat, especially with the first round that moves through, would be large hail. So we need to watch that very closely. That cold front moves through by late in the afternoon into the evening, and then all modes of severe weather would be possible. You can see that's why we've got the winds and the hail in the high category. Can't even rule out a few isolated tornadoes in East Texas tomorrow afternoon and evening. Also, some heavy rainfall could lead to some localized flooding as well. Tonight, though, increasing clouds, 68 degrees, the low temperature, and then tomorrow it's going to be mostly cloudy. Some of these showers and storms that do develop could be strong to severe. It's not a washout. It's not going to be occurring all day long, but parts of the day it could be stormy, about 82 degrees the high. And as we look ahead, take a look here at the WC Tractor seven day forecast. Sunshine, quiet weather right on through the weekend. Matter of fact, the weekend looks great. Temperatures in the 70s for highs, low temperatures in the 50s and down toward Bryan and College Station. Again, strong to severe weather in the forecast for tomorrow. Then we're talking temperatures close to 90 on Friday. Great looking weekend with overnight lows in the 50s and 60s. So not looking too bad just tomorrow. That's it.